Well, it's not looking good for GPUs. Sheesh. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today I've got a bit of a stock update for you guys. And I know it's been a while since I've done one of these. And the reason is because I don't like to regurgitate the same information to you guys. Anytime I give you guys news information, I like it to actually be relevant. I don't like to repackage the same exact thing over to you guys over and over. I feel like that's a waste of you guys' time and I try to respect that and I want the stuff that I shared to really be of value to you guys. So I hope you guys appreciate that and I'm sorry that it's been so long since I've had one, but that is the reason why there's not been anything different to tell you guys really. So I haven't told you guys anything new. So today things have changed from my last stock update where I told you guys that Nvidia themselves were saying that we were going to see stock normalize around quarter two, their quarter two, which would be May, and that's when stock availability would begin to normalize. But there's been new developments, things have happened, things have changed, and that is no longer true. So with our first little story that we've got here from Foxconn, Apple supplier Foxconn says chip shortage will curb shipments. Foxconn is the biggest electronics manufacturer in the world, and they are having to cut down their shipments to Apple by 10%, and they are blaming this on a silicon shortage. Now, this is something that NVIDIA has tried to jump on and say this has been the biggest reason they've not been able to keep up with the demand. But guys, I'm just going to say I've never believed that. We have seen many other things to contradict or kind of question as to that being the biggest contributor and I still don't think it is today but I do think it is increasingly becoming more and more difficult and the reason why is because I think the demand is going higher and higher now before we've talked about it guys I think that this biggest contributor has been mining and we'll talk a little bit about that a little bit more here in a moment but guys it because of this it looks like we will see this shortage happening at least till the second quarter of next year so it is going to be difficult to get a gpu they are saying until next year quarter two guys it's gonna be rough it's gonna be rough for a while that right there is a fairly devastating thing to see especially if you're one of the people that are just wanted to walk into a store and get the dang gpu you want and not have to wait in line forever to get it but guys, it does not look like that's gonna be the case for a while. Now guys, this is not the first time that we have talked about cryptocurrency and mining and Bitcoin being the biggest contributor to why you guys can't get a hold of a GPU. Now, last time we did talk about this, the price for Ethereum was almost half the price. And that's saying something there because this was already profitable for miners to get a hold of these GPUs in build these mining rigs and now guys this is almost double the price double the profit than it was last time we talked about this and what have we seen happen since then we've seen gpu prices go up we have seen the demand start to get harder and harder as we are seeing now we're not seeing it clear up and guys what else are we seeing we're seeing things like nvidia say they're coming out with their cmp cards for miners and guys here's 30 million worth of their cmp series getting sold to miners for bitcoin and ethereum and guys look it, this information is right in our faces guys we don't see anything other than companies taking advantage of the situation that's going on there's free money to be made out there and companies are jumping on it and you know, I hate to say I can't blame them, but it only makes sense from a business standpoint. But guys, this is the reason you're not getting a hold of these cards. There is a silicon shortage because it's being prioritized for mining, for miners, for producing these kinds of cards. So scalpers and miners in big dogs like Nvidia can do backdoor deals and sell these cards off that's what's happening whether you like that or not it really doesn't matter but that is what's going on now if you're a miner i get it 
It's free money on the table. Why would you not take advantage of this opportunity to use your equipment that you purchased? It's your money to do with whatever you feel. I understand that. But from my perspective, this is my platform for gamers and tech reviewing stuff for you guys that are interested in PCs and want to learn how to build them and be involved in this space and want to know what's going on in the PC world. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for you guys. And I feel it's somewhat of a betrayal for me to try to take part in some of this stuff. So I don't do it. I don't use any of my equipment to do any mining. And this is me officially saying to you guys like, I don't do any mining whatsoever. And that's my investment to you guys as a tech tuber. I feel like it's a betrayal on my part to do that to you guys because buying up multiple GPUs for that purpose is keeping them out of the hands of gamers. And that's who I'm here for It's for you guys. So I don't do it. Now guys, that's not me talking down to anybody that uses their equipment to mine. It's their money and their business to do with what they want. They paid for it. They get to do what they want. I can't tell other people what to do. That's kind of ignorant. Now, if you guys are in the market for a budget option GPU, it looks like Nvidia is saying they're going to be upping the production of the 1650 mid quarter two, which you can expect to see around the middle of May. So if this does actually happen, I can't say that it won't have scalper prices attached to them. I don't know. I would seriously be surprised if it didn't, but maybe it won't be as bad as we've seen or extreme as we've seen in the past here. I'm hoping, you know, I don't even know why anyone would spend a thousand dollars on that GPU, but hopefully you guys can get a hold of it. And if you're looking for something that can run 1080p low to mid settings with high FPS, you may be in luck and might be able to get a hold of this GPU. Okay, guys, so there it is. That's what's happening with the stock situation. I'm really hoping that this doesn't actually end up being what's going on going forward, but that's the direction that it looks like we're headed. And guys, if there is anything that happens different, I will be sure to let you know. So make sure that you're subscribed and, you know, give the video a like, guys, because it seriously helps my channel out so very much, so very much. You guys would not believe how much of a difference it makes. It tells YouTube that I'm a decent YouTuber and they put my videos out there for other people to see. So, guys, we do do tech reviews, tech news, how to's on this channel. I really try to help out. So make sure you're subscribed. That's going to do it for the video, guys. If you do have any questions, concerns, confusions, whatever it may be, don't hesitate. Ask. I don't mind helping. We'll see you.